Um, I want to introduce you to Mary Ellen Smith. Um, she's part of Weight Watchers, and she's been on staff with Weight Watchers for 14 years, wow. and is an ambassador. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear it all together. So thank you so much, and we are um, very grateful to have you here. Thank you, Jen. It is a joy to be here, and welcome to everybody. Let's just suppose for a minute that someone told you the very first car, your very first vehicle that you owned was to last for your lifetime. How do you think you would take care of that? <laughs> Think about that. Now you would be allowed to paint it. You would be allowed to change the tires. You would be allowed to give it new blood, new oil. But no matter what you did with that car, it was to last you a life. Would you then look at that car a little bit differently? How many, has had, how many have had the same car, your very first car, from then to current day? Driving the very same car. Wonderful, bravo. Are you, you must obviously be taking good care of it. Um, you're taking good care of it. Okay, now it has to last a lifetime. So would you drive down the road and find the least expensive gasoline that you can find and set it up? And knowing what that, what the uh, book says that it needs some oil, and it probably gives you the type of oil, but you know, it's just what it says, so I don't have a lot of cash today, so I'm just gonna put some sugar in the gas tank and I think I'm gonna get by with that. <laughs> So, we are going to take a little trip and dine out tonight, and we have two guests to sit at our table today. Uh, come on up, please. One is Creative Christine, and the other is Doggone Good Kind Baby. <laughs> and they're going to just, they're, they're two friends, and they love to get together to eat. They love to eat out. Anybody with us there with yeah. the who just love to eat out? Is it a part of Realville, USA? Of course we eat out. Lots of benefits to eating out. So we're going to just listen closely to what they're doing. And these are two friends that enjoy a meal out. Are there going to be some really good choices? Knowing that this is their fuel stop. Remember that car that needs to last a lifetime? This is just their fuel stop. So what kind of fuel might they be thinking of after a, a difficult day? I'm so glad we're here having lunch today. I'm starving! God, I can't tell how hungry I am. I, I want one of everything on the menu. Did you eat breakfast? No, you know, I got in a hurry and I got out without breakfast. What so I'm here, get up my arm. Let's see what we're gonna order. I can't okay. wait. I want two of that, one of that, one of that, one of that, <laughs> two of that, one of that. And where is dessert? Wait a minute. What? It's just food. Oh, but it's good food. It's really it is. Good. Look, it's milk and cheese. And look, milk. listen. Good choices. The Weight Watchers creamy Parmesan chicken. Where's that? Look, right in the middle. Doesn't that sound delicious? Uh, look at the Applebee's riblets mm -hmm. with french fries, coleslaw. You can have that. You yeah. can certainly have it. But when it goes down, is it going to make you feel any better than if you have grilled jalapeno lime shrimp? Not. <coughs> All right, let's see. What's decent on here? What can I eat that I won't feel like a dog when I leave here? I oh. need a crane to take me out of here. <laughs> Oh, I like grilled chicken. Mm -hmm. It's a Caesar salad. I guess I could get that. Yeah. Half size. Who's good? Half, half size. Yeah. Half size. You can eat all night. Half size. Who eats half size? It's for people who make good choices. Well, you know the truth? When I slow down and I don't <coughs> shove the food in my face so fast, 
I get cold pretty fast. But when I eat really fast, then I just can't seem to stop. And when you skip breakfast, you can't stop. Uh, no, but I did grab a couple of cookies on the way out the door. Oh, what? I guess not. Probably not my best choice. Maybe I should have grabbed a piece of fruit. Yeah. You know, fruit's very good for you. All right. That's what are we going to have? Well, I know what I'm having. I don't know about you. I'm having lemon parmesan shrimp. Lemon parmesan shrimp. How many points are in that? 13. Well, that's not bad for lunch. That's a good serving. It's got lots of good stuff in it. It's got tomatoes and onions. And are tomatoes good for you? Oh my gosh. What do they do for you when you eat them? They feel full. Mm -hmm. And on Weight Watchers, they're free. That's true. Even though yeah. it's in it, you got to count it though. I wonder if I get, you know, sometimes when I get salad at a place like this, they drown it in dressing. I wonder if they put the dressing on the side. People will do anything you ask them. You just have to be in charge and say, can you put that on the side? All right, that's and enough. Can you grill those vegetables without butter? I didn't think about, about that. Proactive. What, what, if that's, what if that's not how they make it here, though? Then you don't want them. If they won't make it, you'll have to choose something else. There's lots of choices. But I mean, if it's not on the, it's not on the menu, you grill that way. How do you know until you ask? Oh, okay. I'll well, try it out. All right, I'm going to get grilled chicken, mm -hmm. Caesar salad with dressing on the side. Okay, that's to start. Now, what are we going to have for dessert? I'm not ordering dessert. Oh, I'm going to wait and see if I'm hungry. And I probably won't be. And if I am, I'll have a cup of coffee. I wonder if they have any fruit for dessert. I don't know. Well, I guess I'll ask them. That's right. You just have to ask. All right, I feel better. Let's order. And look where we are. Yeah, I like the fact that they have the points on the menu. Then I don't have to guess, and I know where I'm getting. And they also have menus, I mean, um, choices that have under 550 calories. <coughs> so if you can't find something on Weight Watchers, if you look, I'm sure you can find something. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm Me too. <laughs> <laughs> The good girl on the right side and the devil on the left side. So, what did you hear about some of their choices? This is their fuel stop. Fuel is the food that we're choosing to put in our body. What were some of the things that you heard here that maybe you identified with? Eating half. Eating half. Portion sizes already, already half of your serving and getting it to go box to go. Excellent, excellent. Anyone else? I heard something that Creative Christine said here. Creating vegetables are more appealing. Right, adding some vegetables there. The dressing on the side. Oh, yeah. huge. With the salad, dressing on the side. All you have to do is ask. <laughs> ask, 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 ask. We have with us tonight Greg from Applebee's. Greg. And we're so happy to have him with us because he did bring us a little munchie. But also, you have menus in front of you. And if you look at some of those choices, we'll bring Greg on later, but some of those choices are extremely healthy. Did, did Creative Christine make the best of that situation? Yeah. Yes, she did. And she also said, I'm going to leave, I'm going to wait on dessert to see if I am hungry. hungry or still full. So let's talk a little bit about the dish on dining out. So Greg, thank you. We'll, we'll have you back over here and we'll ask Greg some questions. And, and like you, Carolyn said, it's ask, ask, ask. You need to ask for what you want. So can we eat out? and still follow a healthy program. Yes. 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 How about on Friday night in Augusta, Georgia, do you stand at the door on some of the restaurants? You probably see some team lead members there too. Well, let's see if they're making some good choices here. So planning equals success. If you really don't plan very well, are you planning to be successful? Or are you planning to maybe just skid by a little bit? If you don't plan, you're planning not to do well. 
So how could we plan? What are some of those things that plan? And it doesn't take a great deal of time. How about choosing a restaurant that serves healthy choices? Would you say Applebee's would be one of those? Yeah. Neighborhood, in the neighborhood. And they do have a lot of choices. We saw that today. You're still, they're eating out. They're enjoying each other's company. But there are things on that menu that you can plan for. You can do an online menu check, by the way, before you leave your house or before you leave your office. Search that restaurant and then find their menu. And in your mind, you're already planning what you have to eat, no matter how tempted you are once you get there or how hungry you are. Also, when you go shopping, do you have, when you go shopping, do you have a little budget in mind? Like how much you're going to be able to spend here? Well, can we do that with our, with our calorie budget? Sure. How much am I willing to spend calorie-wise, or with Weight Watchers, how, what are we willing to spend on our points? to still satisfy my hunger and enjoy that. That's your budget. How about don't leave your house hungry? Yeah. Pack a snack. Is that a good tip? Yes. Bring something with you. How many choose maybe some fruit or an apple or string cheese? Just something to take that edge off. Otherwise, when you get there, what's going to happen? Oh, ouch, a man loves living. And the last is my favorite. Don't wear the last. <laughs> That's going to expand with your choices. Don't wear the last. So we're going to plan to succeed. Can I come in a little bit on what you talked about? I'm sorry. Um, I went on some websites earlier, and I just want to let you know a couple that are available. Um, one is the Live Strong website, and as you all know, some of you all have to that one. But um, each, um, they talk about each restaurant of the, of the major restaurants out there, about some different opportunities of good items, not so good items. And then also through, what was the other one? The other one was through Fitness Magazine. It had the 30th unhealthy uh, restaurant menu items. And I printed off some of these for you for all to take a look at. And it talked about specifically um, what items are really good for you on the menu and what items are kind of questionable. I, mean, I can speak specifically of the Applebee's menu, that there's multiple uh, items, uh, free cheese penne, pasta, quesadilla burger, both real good items, but are 1,500 to 1,800 calories a piece. Um, and as you'll see with the menu, there's a multitude of choices under 550 calories. Um, you'll get to taste one here than apple chicken. Um, the, the website's a real good tool for tracking down what some of the, the better items to eat are. So there are choices. It's so good to know who's in charge. So you're on the scene. You've already spoke out the menu. You have a plan. How would you walk, if you really plan well, and you're hungry and you're going to enjoy this meal. Now you're on the restaurant scene. How would you walk in if you were in charge? Put your head up. You know what you're going to do. Tummy in. You're going here. This is my refueling stop and it's going to be great. So you're in charge. Walk in and be confident you're going to make the right choices. Begin with the end in mind. It takes just a second. What do I want to feel like at the end of my meal when I walk away from the table? I have a couple of choices. I kind of call that my Goldilocks feeling. You know, Goldilocks had choices. She was able to choose real teeny weeny. She was able to choose big, but what did she choose? Just wouldn't it feel good to leave that table in charge? You know when you make good choices and that just right feeling? So when you leave that table, it's a great feeling. You make good choices for this vehicle. Remember, it's staying with you forever. <coughs> this is the way it is. Begin with the end in mind. 
And do I want to be hungry? No, that's not a good feeling. Do I want to feel stuck? Oh, that lasts with you a while. <coughs> that stays with you. Another Baylock's moment. I don't want to do that. I want to feel just right. How about interviewing your servant? He's there to do what? We serve you. He's there to serve you. And he is going to make sure that you get what you want. He'll introduce himself to you. Let him know right off the right off the top what some of your plans are and your choices. And treat him well at the end of the meal. Mm -hmm. He'll come back. He'll, he'll keep a seat for you the next time. So generally, you start off with a little appetizer, maybe. So we're going to call it sipping and dipping tonight. Some better choices for <coughs> your beverage. If you choose an alcoholic beverage and you're really hungry, do you make good choices once you get that? And you're starting to really feel fun. You don't really make such good choices. So start with some water and some fresh lemon. It's very cleansing. And sweet tea, sodas, they add no nutritional value. But they do add more juice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some, of the, some of the cocktails that are available to order, shrimp cocktail, lots and lots of protein there. The shrimp sauce is still very healthy. Broth-based soups. The loaded baked potato soup. The broccoli and cheese soup. If you have some choices, choose the broth-based soup. Soup is very filling. And then we're going to get to the salad. But, but I just ordered a salad, and I'm living on salads. I don't understand why I'm not losing weight. <laughs> ever go to a salad bar and watch how right. people, uh -huh. they start out really well? What's first? Such good choices. And then at the end of that salad bar, what do they do then? Salads are a very good choice if you do add the fresh vegetables, pass on the crouton and the bacon, cheesy, creamy, and we talked about it earlier, you were already aware of that. What are your salad dressing on the song? <coughs> Tell them you know, this is my salad dressing that I want, but please bring it on the <coughs> That all is a part of asking your server. Ask, ask, ask. And when he does that, take a fork, dip it in the salad dressing, then in the greens. You're going to be using a quarter of that dressing and still get all of the flavor available to you. <coughs> oh, this is so huge. We're going to be decoders. You have some menus in front of you. So if you're able to see some of those red flag words, you might even in your mind mentally want to highlight that. What are some of those red flag words that stand out when they're describing a dish? <laughs> Batter, right? Fry. See all of those red lights going on. Cream and buttery. Oh, there's that country style steak. Crispy, smother. Crunchy, cheesy. How about this? The all you can eat. <laughs> Bottomless. Loaded, the value dish, volcano, Alfredo. Alfredo. Do you see those red signals going off? Those are your key red flag words. So stay, and, and doggone good time gaming, what is some of those creamy things and those cheesy things? 
creative Christie's and there are other things on this menu here that we can make better choices. Remember, think about what you want to feel like in the end before you begin. So there are red light foods, but there's also the green light foods. Go ahead and enjoy that. So what are some of the healthy choices on that menu? There are many. And Applebee's does it very well. How about baked? Sound better than fried? Seasoned. Yeah. Royal? <coughs> Fresh. Oh, that even sounds so good. Fat-free today, you hardly know the difference between fat-free foods and the regular food. Lots of substitutions <coughs> here. And there's that wonderful vinegar dressing, steamed, stir-fried, light, marinated. Don't that, doesn't that even make you feel lighter than what we just described with the batter and the fried? So can you still make good choices any doubt? We sure can. And this is what Carolyn said. Ask, 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 ask. Ask for what you want. And um, our, our diners did that today. This is what's on the menu. I can't change from that. Greg, are they able to change from that? You're able to change pretty much anything you want. There might be a slight outcharge on some items, but seven out sides for salads, seven out your sides for more healthy choices. Um, even changing the preparation of some of the items is, is more than possible. So there's always a way. That server is called a server. He's not a mind reader. He's a server. He'll only give you what you're going to be asking for because he wants to earn your trust. So ask if you can substitute. Ask if you can have it prepared your way. The, the red light foods, change those to the green light foods. And he's probably writing this down and thinking, oh, wow, what a good choice. She is so and she is so <laughs> I just served somebody that wanted the audience who could go, all you can eat, the volcano, the loaded. He's refreshed by your choices. And then as soon as your meal arrives, just like you said, ask for a to-go box. Not only are you saving on your calories and your fat, but you're saving your cash flow there because you've got lunch tomorrow. And that's already planned for. It's already in the box, mm -hmm. ready to take a grab. And then there's that dessert. I heard, I heard creative Christine say, well, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to order dessert right now. Uh, I'm going to wait to see if I'm still hungry. And Danny was thinking, life is short. Eat dessert first. Order it right up front. So, of course, don't deny yourself pleasures. Do order some dessert. And there are better choices there, too. Most of the menus have a fresh fruit cup. Sorbet or frozen yogurt is better than the full ice cream, absolutely. And there we go with portion sizes again. You could probably share a dessert. And the little dessert shooters, and I did check with Greg on this because Applebee's has little dessert shooters. And we're going to bring Greg back up here. Little dessert shooters where you're still getting the dessert, but in a small portion. So you get the flavor, you get the texture. At the end of your meal, do you want a full dessert anyway? <laughs> Begin with the end in mind. Coffee, skinny latte, and hot tea can be a wonderful refreshing dessert. And I heard some really interesting things. There are choices. So at the end of the meal, you feel wonderful. You still socialize with your best friend. You have conversation. You made wonderful choices. And you stay on your program. Bravo. What would that feel like? How would you leave that table? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
you did it. And what did you go there for? What did you eat out to accomplish? We have you. Yeah, you're, you're socializing, you were served, you made it a special event, and you're leaving the table healthy. So bravo, you did it. And so be proud, be very, very proud. And so all of those things are available to us. And um, we're looking at the Navy. So Greg, why don't you come up and tell us uh, about some of the choices and the servers and how, how we could approach the server and what you feel like when we do that. <coughs> There's, just switch things up. Just, just to let you know that in any restaurant, there's healthy choices you can make. Uh, prior to work for Apple, these are for Ryan's. And obviously, the, the first thing you think of is the high calorie macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, gravy, sauces, and everything else that goes along with it. But I had a gentleman that came in, and he ate there probably three, four times a week. He had a heart attack um, years previous, and pretty much ate the majority of his meals at Ryan's afterwards and was able to make healthy choices by having smaller portions the fresh vegetables on the bar to a point where his cardiologist was just amazed at the difference in all his uh, numbers weight loss blood pressure all that kind of stuff because he made the proper choices so don't don't feel like any restaurant that you go into you're, you're kind of locked into those items because there's so many different um, options available on menus and there's also the things that aren't available uh, fruit cup for example was mentioned that even though it may not be listed on the menu, um, we have a full bar there. We need oranges for the bar, uh, strawberries for garnishes of drinks, but we can make up some sort of fruit cup for you and, and just to accommodate you. Um, restaurant environment is extremely competitive right now, and I can guarantee you that restaurants will go above and beyond more so than they've done in previous years in order to keep you as a customer by, by doing those special sorts of things. Um, we talked about the waiters and waitresses, and again, their, their money comes from the server, uh, from, from guests. Um, we pay them two thirteen dollars an hour, which is minimal after they're taxed. Um, and, and in most cases, they will do whatever it takes in order to accommodate you. That, um, as I mentioned earlier, sides on items are completely interchangeable, that um, anything that you see, um, we passed out a couple different things, that, um, it, it talked about mashed potatoes and vegetables being the sides on them. Mashed potatoes are extremely high calorie. Um, going to the sides of uh, uh, double steamed vegetables or uh, broccoli and steamed vegetables or possibly a white rice and steamed vegetables might be a, a better alternative for you and all those sorts of things can be changed. Um, eating burgers without the buns. I know that that may not be your first choice, but again, that's an alternative that, that saves you a lot of, uh, a lot of calories and, and ends up being a better meal for you. Um, Something that you need to really watch out for in terms of um, some of the items out there. Um, breads that, even though a lot of bread restaurants don't do this anymore, there are some that will still bring bread to you. For example, Olive Garden. Um, Ryan's was doing that. A Ryan's goal is 300 calories before you put any butter on it. And that includes the butter that's placed over the top of it. So if you have one or two of those, you're, you're automatically going to be pushed over the top. Um, Olive Garden, same sort of idea. That uh, they'll push the breadsticks on you, and that's something that you can tell the waiter immediately. Is that when they bring them initially, or even some of the Mexican restaurants, um, that will bring them in the chips. That again, those are great food items, but there's nothing wrong with telling the, the server, no thanks. If, if you don't even have it on the table, it's not going to be a, a temptation for you. Um, I can speak specifically about Applebee's um, because I've worked there. Um, that in January of every year, we, we change the menu approximately six times a year. And every January, we put out a under 550 Weight Watchers insert. And this program just ended a couple days ago, but all these items are, are still currently on the menu, just the insert is a little bit different. Another thing that we have listed on the menu um, is, uh, you talk about alcohol a little bit. We have some uh, locale alcohol choices. We have something called a skinny bee margarita, which, um, the calories are lower, number one, because it has a little less alcohol in it. And as you all know, uh, alcohol does have a lot of calories in it. But also we're using a um, low-cal sweet and sour mix that um, they mix with margarita. And that also translates out to a uh, 
a skinny meaty Long Island iced tea. I know that there's some restaurants out there that have low calorie wines. Michelob Maltro, if you're a beer drinker, is, is probably the best choice, um, both low in carbs and low in calories. Um, but like I said, the, the web is a, is a great resource. Um, I spent some time on the web this afternoon just, just looking at different things. And you can type in any restaurant that you can think of, low-cal menu, and it'll come up with, with different options. The, uh, for example, Chili's, there's a couple pages here specifically of the items that Chili's has available. Um, there's a, a website called Low Calorie Nights Out, and you can operate and you can go through different restaurants and again, highlighting choices um, and also highlighting you some of the negative choices. For example, I think it talked about um, Chili's as well that onion rings on the menu, three of them were 150 <laughs> calories, just to, just to kind of warn you from some of those items that are going around there. Um, but, but again, it, it highlighted not only the good choices, but the bad choices. The, there are going to be nights where you, you're going to want to go off that 550 menu, but you don't have to go all the way to the, to the 1850 um, three cheese pasta alfredo. Um, well, we're going to give, uh, we're going to give you a chance to ask Greg some questions and, and interact a little bit here. So getting back for just one second, getting back for just one second on that vehicle that was going to last you forever, you stopped at a fuel stop, you put in everything that it needed just like the manual said, and so you were able to, again, give it what it needed. If you put in too much oil, what happens? If you put in too much gasoline, what happens? So the analogy is just so strong. If that vehicle, if we were given one, just one, to last our whole lifetime, would you view that vehicle as a treasure? Would you view that vehicle as your responsibility? You wouldn't be able to change it. You wouldn't be able to use someone else's for a lifetime. This was the vehicle that you chose for you and it's your responsibility to treat it right. Well, let me just say, you were given a very magnificent vehicle in your body, and it's going to last just as long as your lifetime does. And it's our choice what we put into it. So, in Reelsville, USA, we do enjoy eating out, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but we can make some good choices on what we put into that vehicle. That is our responsibility. So does it give you a better perspective? Yes, I can eat out with some better choices. Yeah, you really can. And look at your body as that it's a magnificent machine. If you put <coughs> things in there more than what it needs, it's just like that car. It's wasted. It's going to have to be stored somewhere. What's wrong with feeling this way? So when you leave here tonight, just go, that Goldilocks feeling, plan a little bit. The web is our friend. Look a little bit ahead of time, plan before you leave. And you could get all of the benefits of eating out uh, as creative Christine was here. So give those girls a hand. Thank you. opportunity to ask some questions of, of Greg and maybe some of the restaurant secrets. Greg, come on up. Questions? We went to, uh, in a Weight Watcher meeting had a guy who worked at a restaurant tell us that if we ordered steamed vegetables, now you would think that that would be enough for the kitchen to get the idea, but he said that if you order steamed vegetables on the side, and before they go out the door, they pour a butter sauce on the top of it because what they're concerned in is that it tastes good to you and you're going to come back and want to eat at their restaurant. And then you have to specifically tell them not to put any kind of oil on the vegetable. Would that be true at Applebee's? For the most part, no, not really. We have a uh, steamed broccoli, which is exactly that. It's just broccoli steamed in the microwave. Um, there are, our mixed vegetables do have a sauce on them. It's not a um, butter sauce. It's more of a 
salt, pepper, garlic mixture that you're, you're going to get some flavor off of, but not, not a whole lot of calories. But, but again, the more specific you are in terms of the restaurants, because you, you got to remember is, is that even though at home you're the only person sitting there eating, um, on an average Friday, Saturday night, we'll probably serve close to 600 people. That um, if you're very specific about what you're looking for, we can, we can accommodate you um, as best we possibly can. <coughs> on the, the menu for Weight Watchers? Weight Watchers, is, 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 as far as I understand, um, works directly with um, Applebee's as a the company, Applebee's Incorporated. And um, they have a committee that they test different items. I mean, literally the commercials that you see on TV um, are test kitchens that they have there. Like I said, we, we change the menu approximately six times a year that we introduce probably for reported items um, each time that happens. And there's there's constantly new items being tested. There's a new lunch program that was tested in, um, in Macon over the last couple months that we introduced sometime in March or April. So there, there's all kinds of items. Um, the other thing is, is that on the bottom of, for pretty much everybody has this now, that you can go to websites and rate, rate your service at the company. But I know on the Applebee's one and in other restaurants that I've filled out, they have something in there that talks about what would you like to see on the menu. And we're a business. Bottom line is, is that we want to attract as many customers as we possibly can. That um, if there's enough people that are asking for certain items, those items are going to be introduced hopefully throughout the system if, 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 the, if the call is there. So are you listed at the customer? Of course we are. <laughs> <laughs> we would not be in business if we did. <laughs> When you first started doing that, we'll be, uh, the Weight Watcher, they had a great chocolate cake on there that was a Weight Watcher mm -hmm. cake. And is that not on here because this is an abbreviated menu or do you not have that we anymore? Don't, we don't carry that anymore. Again, it, it's it's an issue with popular, the, the popular items go through, um, that it just, we would sell so little of it that it got to a point where we were wasting a lot more than, than we have. But, but just uh, alternatives for dessert, she talked about the chocolate shooters and those uh, cheesecake shooters. Um, but we also have something called a brownie bite and a bloody bite. I know uh, those are real popular items in the restaurant, but they're approximately a quarter the size of the normal um, dessert item. Um, cheap price, it's only a dollar, but again, you're, you're getting that dessert taste um, satisfaction out of it at basically one quarter of the calories. Does it have the calories on the menu? Uh, not on the menu, but again, through a website, and we usually have something printed up in the restaurant that you can do that. Right. We used to have French onion soup at the store. Can we go in there and order French onion soup and ask them not to put the bread in it and to have the cheese? Right, we can, leave, we can leave off the cheese, we can leave off the bread, anything along those lines. They're prepared to order, so it's very easy for us to, to do it that way. Yeah. I have a comment. Um, as flexible as Applebee's is, or any restaurant is, they all have a very clear ingredient list and amount that has to be included. So if you are going in for something that's labeled at 500 calories or less, it's going to be 500 calories or less because those cooks are expected to follow that recipe to a T unless you change it. So you can you can be sure that that's going to happen. So we the, appreciate that's true. that. Just some of the things that we do for the Weight Watchers uh, under 550 items is, is that we have a separate section of the uh, flat top grill where we do those items so it's not intermixed with the butters and other items that are going on with some of the other, other foods. We use uh, ham cooking oil rather than vegetable oil or things along those lines. And again, to, to help lower the calorie content. Um, the other thing is, is that a lot of people have allergies that every company has an allergen menu that's out. Most of them will have it printed out at the restaurant. Everybody's got smartphones now that you can pull up that stuff. That it will break down if you have a, a gluten <coughs> sort of allergy um, and have to, or have to eat gluten free. Again, a very complete list of items that you can or cannot, cannot eat. And we're very aware of all that, that, that stuff. We've had issues um, in the past that I know about in other restaurants where people have had shrimp allergies, or shellfish allergies, and they've had reactions in restaurants. And, and that has kind of put, a, put the fear in a lot of other restaurants out there that you're gonna do the right thing in terms of making sure that we're not putting the raw food into, into people.